Good evening, fellas and barbins. Welcome to episode 25 of Now It's a Break Vet. And this week we're going to use oranges to illustrate a certain point. Have you ever bought a bag of fruit? Um, perhaps a bag of oranges, a bag of apples. Most of us have. I did, a little, I did a little experiment the other day where I basically took an old, moldy, pretty unedible orange and I put it at the bottom of a bucket that I had lying around. I then went, I bought a new packet of oranges. I took that new packet of oranges and I packed them neatly around this moldy orange. I filled up the bucket quite a bit and I let it stay for a couple of days. When I came back to check, there was a bit of a smell from the bucket, but the oranges on top were still okay. So I unpacked them one by one, inspected it, looked at it, put it down. When I got to the middle of the bucket, that's when I started seeing signs of mold on a couple of the oranges. I unpacked a bit more, and the deeper I got to the bottom, the more mold was now on the oranges. Until I got to the last layer, and the ones that were around that moldy orange were in turn all moldy. The smell was bad and the oranges were not edible. In Zimbabwe, we are very close to the end of the junta. Yes, perhaps 2018, the opposition might not clearly win, but the junta will be weakened to a point where they will have to negotiate. The old man is now reaching the age where he cannot perform basic functions. Leading is now done by third parties and the old man just rubber stamps their decisions. In our desperation to get rid of the regime, let us not compromise who we combine forces with. Like those oranges, we can see what happens when we take one rotten orange and put it in the same basket or the same bag as our nice new juicy ones. Yes, we admit we must all combine forces. The opposition must truly combine forces for this last push. However, out of a country of 14 million people, are we really that desperate that we can call former junta members and thieves, fellow Democrats in our fight against the evil regime? Let's take a look at the recent election, by-election, which was won by a former member of the junta. A person who used his position to invade farms, to take over businesses, and to make himself very rich. That same person was supported and welcomed by some corners of the opposition. Really? So are we welcoming of known killers and thieves, yet we cannot combine forces with other opposition forces who have been fighting the same junta for many years? Why is that? In a whole constituency, we cannot find an independent person to support, but we run to support people who have got more children than there are days of the week, with more women than there are days of the week. We have our baskets of oranges. We've had them for many years now. They are just about to ripen. They are very, very close to be ripe. So why are we now adding rotten oranges to our baskets? Comrades and friends, if you are in a political party now, and you know where this struggle has come from, you know how it was started and what the principles of the opposition was based on. Then stand up and demand that we keep the opposition clean. You are a citizen capable of thinking. You have been educated. You are smart. Don't let your leaders lie to you and try justifying putting rotten oranges in our baskets. There are millions of good oranges out there. Tell them to add the good oranges first. The rotten oranges must be left on a compost heap for
for a while. They must decompose. Maybe some of them will actually become seedlings and new orange trees will sprout with new fruit which we can pick and add to our baskets. But you cannot pick a rotten orange and put in to a basket with ripe oranges. Be careful that in our desperation to remove the junta, we don't partner with people who have benefited from the same junta and who have used violence and thuggery on our citizens. In our attempts as opposition to win elections, have we ever beaten people? Have we ever raped people? Have we ever burnt houses, burnt cars? Have we ever raided fields of animals and crops? Have we kidnapped people? No, we have not. So what excuse can former Junta members possibly have to justify their actions in the past, so much so that we now call them comrade? Don't be misled by your leaders. Think for yourselves. See the true qualities of what we want on leaders and vote accordingly. Thank you very much for watching another episode of Breton Vets. If you like what I said and you want to see a couple more videos, please feel free to follow our Facebook page and our YouTube channel, both entitled Breton Vets. Thank you very much.